Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2018. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or a company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. Hi everyone and welcome to the last Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge for 2018. To begin, let's search for the post regarding the challenge and let's download the 3D files. Let's download this file to our local drive, selecting download, hitting save, file now downloaded. Let's head to Fusion 360, head to file, selecting open and selecting open from my computer locating our downloaded file and selecting open. Notice that this new design is currently a multi-body part file and before we begin let's be organized by renaming this bodies. Let's select this first body. So this is named as body 5. Left click and left click once more. Select this or rename this as base Let's select this body, which is body 6, rename this as rotator, and let's select one of the shutters, selecting this face, so it's body 4, let's rename this to shutter. Our task for this challenge is to turn these bodies into components and apply joints. Inspecting these bodies, our Parent component should be base, so let's initially select base and turn this into a component by right-clicking and select Create Component from Bodies. Our next body to be a component is our rotator, so selecting rotator, right-click, select Create Components from Bodies. And finally, selecting shutter, right-click, Create Components from Bodies. Now these three bodies are just instance of our shutter so let's leave these three bodies behind. So turning its visibility off. Let's arrange our component. Let's move our rotator here and our shutter here. And let's now hit J for joint and selecting capture position. Let's head over. To this face holding control and selecting this joint origin next I want my next selection to be placed on our origin but notice as I hover over here our joint origin is in a different orientation to have a joint origin similar to our component let's cancel making sure our main file is activated I'm going to hit C for circle selecting capture position let's sketch on our XZ plane turn off the visibility of our base and let's create a simple circle I'm going to key in 5 hitting enter and let's turn this into a construction entity by selecting construction, selecting stop sketch, and turn on the visibility of our base. Let's move this here, reselect our joints, hitting J, selecting capture position, hovering over this face, holding control, selecting this joint origin, hovering over our sketch, holding control, and left click hitting OK now our base is at the 0 0 origin moving forward let's place our rotator to our base so let's hit J for joint and notice the orientation of our joint origin when I hover over this face is different our joint origin should be parallel to our XZ plane, same with our 
base. In this instance, we need another reference. You guessed it right. We will create another sketch. So selecting cancel. In order for us to create a sketch, we need a plane. And before we create a plane, let's activate our base. Head to construct. Let's select axis through cylinder. Let's select this face. So notice a construction axis was created. Selecting OK. Head to construct. Let's select plane at angle. Selecting our construction axis. Leaving the default to 0. Selecting OK. Next, let's enter sketch mode by hitting L for line and select this newly created construction plane. Selecting slice and hit P for project. Making sure under selection filter, bodies is enabled. Selecting this body, left click and hit OK. So here we have now located the center point of the sphere. Next, let's hit L4 line, create a horizontal line here, hitting escape, reselecting this line and hitting X, the shortcut for construction. Next, reselecting our horizontal line and selecting this point, right click and select midpoint. Let's pull this out, selecting stop sketch, head to construct. And select plane at angle. For the line, let's select this newly created horizontal line and key in 90. Selecting OK. Reselect our newly created construction plane. Hit C for circle. Let's create another 5 millimeter circle. And of course, let's turn this into a construction entity by selecting construction. Selecting stop sketch. In addition, let's turn off the visibility of this projected sketch. So selecting this sketch, right click, find in browser, and let's turn this off. Let's repeat the procedure and apply this to our rotator. So scrolling down and activating our rotator. Head to construct and select axis through cylinder. Selecting the space, selecting OK, head back to construct, selecting plane at angle, selecting this axis, selecting OK, selecting this plane, hit L for line, select slice to have a better view, hit P for project, making sure bodies is enabled, left click and selecting OK. Hit L for line, create a horizontal line here, hit escape, turn this into a construction entity, hitting X. Let's head to constraints, selecting midpoint, selecting this horizontal line and this center point. Selecting stop sketch, let's pull this out. Select this projected sketch, right click, find in browser. Turning this off. Let's head back to construct. Select plane at angle. Selecting this horizontal line. Key in 90. Select this sketch. Right click and find in browser. Let's turn this off. Selecting this plane at and hit C for circle. Create a 5 millimeter circle. Turning this into a construction entity by hitting X, selecting Stop Sketch. Head to our main file and activate our parent assembly. Let's now grab our joint, hitting J, the motion type to be Revolute. Hovering over this circle, holding control and selecting this joint origin. Moving to our base, hovering over this sketched circle, holding control and selecting this joint origin, and hit OK. 
Let's get organized and turn off the visibility of these entities. So selecting this, right click, find in browser, turning this off. Same with this axis, right click, find in browser, turning this off. Same with our sketch, right click, find in browser, turning this off. Same with this sketch. Find in browser, turning this off. And this sketch, right click, find in browser, turning this off. Let's now place our shutter to our base. So let's turn off the visibility of our rotator. Hitting J for joint. Hovering over this face, holding control and selecting this joint origin. Let's hover over this face, hold control and select this joint origin. Motion type to be revolute. Selecting OK. Next, let's add a joint limit to our shutter. Let's add to our joints folder. Expanding this and select Rev3. So notice the value as I move our component. Let's determine the angle when this is at the open state. Selecting this corner of our view cube, pulling this down and inspecting the value which is currently set to 1 so definitely this would be at 0 next let's head to top view grab our shutter and move this here let's turn off the visibility of rigid turn on the visibility of our Sketch for our main assembly as a reference. Let's move our shutter. And at this position, let's check the angle of our joint. So selecting Rev3. And it's currently at 58. With 0 and negative 58 in mind, let's add a joint limit to our Rev3, so heading to Rev3, right click, selecting Edit Joint Limits. For the minimum, I'm going to key in negative 58 and for the maximum to be 0. Selecting OK and let's inspect. Let's move our shutter. So at the open position and this one to be at the close position. Moving forward, let's now create instances of our shutter. So let's locate our shutter. Selecting this, Control C and hit Control V. Let's grab our planar handle and move this over here. Selecting OK. Hit J for joint. Hovering over this face, holding control, selecting this joint origin. Hovering over this face, holding control, selecting this joint origin. Motion type to be revolute. Selecting OK. Moving this to our open position and inspecting the value. So let's head to front view, move this. So definitely this one should be at 90. Heading to top view, let's move this up and inspect the value to be 32. Let's keep this in mind, 90 to 32. Let's head to our joints, selecting Rev4, right click and select Edit Joint Limits. Activating the minimum and maximum. So the correct value should be minimum 32 and maximum to be 90. 
Selecting OK. Let's inspect. Moving this down. And moving this up. Let's turn off the visibility of our first shutter. Moving forward, I want you to repeat the steps that we did for shutter 1 and shutter 2. Welcome back and now I have added the two remaining shutters. And let's turn off the three shutters. Same with our base. Head to our first joint. Right click and select go to home position. Let's move our first shutter down. Take note the position or the angle of our Rev 2 at open state to be at 0. And if I move our shutter to the closed state and move our rotator, let's head to this view, selecting this corner of our view cube. Hit control 7 and move our rotator and inspect the value of our joint to be 38. Let's head back to our shaded visual style by hitting control 6. Let's now zoom out, head to our Rev 2. Right click and select edit joint limits, minimum to be 0 and maximum to be at 38. Hitting OK. And let's inspect 0, 38. Moving forward, let's make sure that our rotator is at open state. Notice the position of our shutter and the peg of our rotator. From here, we can now head to assemble, select motion link. And select capture position, selecting Rev 2 and Rev 3. For Rev 2, the angle to be negative 238. Rev 3 to be 360, selecting OK. Repeating the procedure, right click, repeat motion link. Rev 2 and Rev 4, negative 238, selecting OK. Right click, repeat motion link, Rev 2 and Rev 5, negative 238, selecting OK. Right click, repeat motion link, Rev 2 and finally Rev 6, the angle to be negative 238, selecting OK. Let's now turn on our base and our shutters. And because our joints, except for rigid, are all linked, I can select any of the joints, for example, Rev 3, right click and select Animate Model. Looking nice. How did you create the final Fusion 360 monthly challenge? Let us know and share with fellow learners. Leave a comment down below. For those who are interested to have the final corrected copy of this file, I will leave the link here in Fusion 360 Worldwide Users. Thanks for watching and see you in the 2019 version of Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge to start in the month of March.